Okay, so let's see. How many more? I feel like we should be close. 24, 34. Holy shit. How long is this? Actually, also, I forgot to turn my head set back on. Darkness is a parasite. It burrows its way into your soul and feeds on your most selfish desires. Your every wish, tainted and twisted, as you become the very thing darkness wants you to be. In that world, there is no future for any of us. I have witnessed this firsthand. I refuse to let it happen again. So know this as you step away from the light once more. Inside us all is the strength to control darkness. We need only look inward and remember why we're here. We are humanity's final salvation. Okay. That was unsettling. Seeing you use stasis reminds me how different we are. Even if you can control the darkness for good, nothing can change the fact that I was forged in the light. And all of this, well, goes against who I am. What I am. So that's the next part, and all right, we got a long ass right, or a long ass drive to it. So, so what am I learning about actually running through this? Is that Risk Runner is really a fucking meme. Like it just, it makes this so much easier to do. I'm kind of mad at myself for, like, not keeping... Like, if I had any other thing I could be using right now, I would just use Risk Runner straight up through the entire campaign. And I'm honestly going to do that if I do it on my other two characters. Honestly, this is going to take, like, half the time on my other two characters, because I'm probably not going to have to worry about power level. But honestly, dude, I'm honestly thinking, like, how, when did I start? Like, 8.30? Around 8.30? And now it's 9, 10, 11, 12, 1. So almost, almost six hours. I think, like, half of the time I spent dying to shit. So this will go by a lot fat. this will definitely go by a lot faster when I'm, like, at a decent power level. So what is this next? Have I been to this area? Oh yeah, I have. But did I get any other work? You know what? Having the another wide range transmission. Judgment day is upon us, my fellow Elixni. Another foundational pillar of our beautiful society has been knocked down. Praxis, dear friend. Your death at the hands of those Puppets will not go unavenged. Soon they will answer for what they've done. I will see to it myself. Rise now, my fellow Elixni. Do not let this scum take more of our sisters, brothers, fathers, and mothers. We are the future of our kind, and we will destroy all who threaten us. Leave no Alive. Yeah, they're really going for us now. We're fucked. We're actually not fucked. They're fucked, honestly. Like, if I had stasis already, like, everybody would be dead. Like, Aramis would have already been dead.
but they had to make it so that we didn't get stasis until the end of this campaign, I'm assuming. That's my best. That's my bet. Because they're just, like, teasing stasis. Like, here, let's use them in these, like, small bits. Yeah, I've definitely been here. Oh, this is a chest that is locked. Fuck me, dude. I should probably talk to Varric, because he probably has armor that I can be... that I can grab. Also, I don't remember these Vex being here. Although, that, that was from the story mission. So, obviously, this is different. Going to. Can I actually unlock this now? No, I can't. Wait, but this is where Aramis was. Uh, that's. That's Telesketch. Hey buddies, guess what? Honestly, I should keep Chaos Reach on for now. And we're back to darkness. I'm honestly going to be super happy when I get to actually have the stasis subclass. Exploder shanks got me. Okay. So now... Give me my super. Thank you. Oh! Oh, okay. So this is what we're doing. Okay, um... Give me my grenade back, first off. And I blew myself up with my grenade. Sweet. That's exactly what I want. Uh. Okay, so... How long does it take for them to break out of the freeze?
So it honestly makes more sense to just like do like a wide AoE freeze of everything before trying to. That's what it. That's what it looks like to me. Was that all? I think that was. Okay, now I can talk to Varix. This is stasis at its most powerful. I won't lie. It scares me. I just don't want to see it turn on me. Its grasp is sinister. Okay, that's sweet. Now, where did it take me? I guess this is just when I just want to get out of there. Risk re Oh, that's... I guess that's where I'm at. I'm really close to finishing this, I think. 27, so after I talk to Varix, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. I can't count, but there's seven more steps after I talk to Varix. Hopefully there's, if we have more like stupid grinding shit, which I probably think we do, Aramis I'm gonna be upset. To return the to greatness. Varix Dude, Varix, to why is your shit always fucked? Her anger has made her blind. <laughs> Aramis cannot save the Elixni, and we cannot save Aramis. We must help the Elixni who wish to flee Aramis. We must give them the second chance she promised. And then the way will be clear for you to end her reign. Oh, there's the rocket. Sub Zero Salvo. What is this? Ha oh, what is that supposed to be? Killing combatants with this weapon generates a small amount of super energy. Well, then. And then. Oh, yeah. Final Blows grants increased mobility, weapon range, and handling. What is weapon range going to do for this? This doesn't even have a range stat. That doesn't even have a range stat, so does that just affect the velocity? Because I know range finder affects the velocity. So is that the same thing? Oh, but that power jump, though. Holy shit. Okay. I'm all about it. Oh, so this looks so... That looks so weird. Like, God damn, dude. Oh, okay. Oh, that's an upgrade. Hopefully between dismantling all the blues that I get that I'm not going to use anymore. That I should be good. In terms of like, uh, glimmer. Uh, that, which, is there something, did I fix all the stats on these? Yeah, I have. Yeah, blues can't have, blues can't have that. I was gonna tell myself to keep that, but then it didn't really make any sense. Okay, what's next? Stasis sealed chest and perdition. Where the hell is perdition?
the glass wait that's when not it Petra comes to me, she bides her time she lets fear build Oh, that was from last season. What does this armor look like? Uh, it's alright, I guess. Oh, is there a new... Is he from the Ophidians? Oh my god. I don't even know what that's supposed to be. Okay. Well, I don't know where that's supposed to be for that armor. I'm not going to worry about it. Ziggurat, the crux, the splinters, all the darkness here on Europa. I thought I could stand it, but I had no idea we'd be here for so long, or that you would keep getting closer and closer to it. The skiff is prepared. Help my allies flee this oh, place. Oh, that makes sense now. So we got spiders fallen, and now we're gonna get Varix's fallen. We're gonna just have a fallen army at this point. I right, said, so "What am I doing with this?" Skiff evacuated. I guess I'm defending it. Okay, now this is making sense. Now this is starting to make sense to me. Okay, now, see, now this is starting to make sense of, like, why everything's the way that it is, except I'm getting absolutely lit up. Power, 1150. And I'm 1140. It's because I'm using Risk Runner. God damn it. What did I put? Oh, I put it into Sleeper. Not Sleeper. Oh, that's not who I was trying to shoot at. Okay. That's one. <clears throat> and then I don't have to deal with the trash mobs, thankfully. Tamper. See, now this makes sense. Oh. 
I'm honestly just trying to like not die. Okay. Oh, perfect. That's what I actually needed. Oh, I really needed that. Holy shit. Oh, but the stat... Oh, god damn. Okay, let me look at this. Blair, Magwell, High Cal, Zen Moment, and Outlaw. Eh. I, won't, I would want it with Snapshot, honestly. Uh, is that fixed? I guess that's taken care of. Oh, yeah, that's taken care of. Homie is over there grinding. Oh, do eat? Well, they took care of that. I need help. No hope will flee to safety. Mizrax, the light kel awaits them. Mi kel Mizrax? Young, untested. But my people dare to hope. Yes. Wait. Wait. I see now that you weave huh? this dark power more wisely than Erebus. Perhaps the corruption did not stem from darkness, but from anger. Bring this lesson to Aramis. Oh, I guess it's time to actually 86 Aramis. Um... I'll, I think Sniper Resist is probably the safest way to go. Um, what about all my armor? Is all my armor set up good? I think so. And then that, yeah. But so is Mithrax the same as Mithrax? Like, is that Mithrax? Like, the actual Mithrax? Like Mithrax, Mithrax, am I crazy? The more Elix need that escape, the better I feel. They deserve safety, away from Aramis. A victory, yes, but more remain. And when I find them, they'll all die. Good riddance to traitors like you, unworthy of my empire. Aramis. Was never meant to be an empire. It was meant to be home. Oh. Our hope was taken from us by your once great machine. There is no oh, hope Lord. for us while it still lives. The great machine must die. Alright, well, we get to absolutely obliterate Aramis, thank goodness. We're getting tired of her bullshit. Uh, yeah. I'll take that hit. Obliterate everything. Who had the strength to do it? So forgive me, traitor, but 
a friend you thought you had. She never existed at all. Oh, that hurts. Rex must be big sad about that. I'm gonna die. Okay, okay. <laughs> oh, I guess this is technically an empire hunt. Technically. Now, can I unlock that door now? Oh wait, I think I've tried it. I think, cause I was here already. Still can't unlock that shit. Yeah, there's the fallen. Iso Minotaur? Oh. I wonder what that name's supposed to mean. Well, it doesn't matter because it's dead anyway. Like, what is sh Oh. Everything was shooting me. I don't know why I even asked. survive this? No, I can't. Alright, well, that's a no. Well. Did you know what I would want to do? I kind of just want to go through, like, all of the... That's gonna take a lot of work, but I just want to go through my entire, like, stupid death compilation of Beyond Light. Because I died a whole bunch of stupid ways during this playthrough. I'm looking forward to doing that. Be like the traveler won't abandon us. And he's like, uh, this is awkward. Like the ghost to be like, oh, the traveler's not gonna abandon us, and then meanwhile the traveler's like, uh, yeah, about that. Bye. I, I imagine that happening, like. I wonder what would happen to the ghosts. Like, would the ghosts, like, leave with the Traveler and just, like, abandon whoever they rezzed? Or whatever? Because I, I feel like that's not how that works. Only 
they came here to hide. Like a coward. No! Releasing Vex put Elixni lives in danger. Many have already perished. Aramath, you are the real coward! Silence! I've had enough of you, Barracks. I will enjoy watching your skull shatter into pieces. Man, I didn't even want to. I just wanted Varix to go in. Varix was pissed. <laughs> Dude, like, even if it's just like short voice lines, like having characters actually express like real emotions is like refreshing. Oh my gosh, you're almost dead. Speaking of which, everything else is also dead. Hey, buddy. Aramis. Welcome back. It's time to reach your end. Bam. You really think I'm gonna die here when I have Risk Runner? <laughs> oh, you stupid, stupid, stupid Fallen. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have fun just evaporating everything. You know what this remind, this is reminding me of is that this is reminding me of... Okay, where is... Oh, I was about to be like, where the hell is your health bar? Oh, it's at the bottom of the screen. Deadass forgot they did that. Alright, I'm tired of getting slowed. Have fun with that. All right, now you're just going. Now you're just going out for blood, and I hate that. Like, it wasn't even about empowering Fallen. It, you're just trying to be a little bitch. But it's okay because I'm cracked now. Oh. Oh, hey, look, cutscene. Your chains are showing. All that. Wasted serving false gods. <laughs> Allow me to help you break free. Ghost. This is I I can't. I'm sorry. Well my ghost can't help me. Look what I've done for you. No more light. No more dark. Look within. Focus your power. Ooh. How interesting. Yeah, we don't suck anymore, bitch. <laughs> Uh, it's giving me a big fucking stick. That's what it's giving me. Am I like fully cracked again? Also, where? Oh. Okay, so I guess this is the real fight. <laughs> oh shit. Damn. Okay, she's actually cracked now.
Okay, okay, stop with that shit. I just don't want to get launched off the map. That's all I really care about. Okay, that was a punch. I did not want to do that. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, risk runner, thank you. Oh, why did I do this to myself? Why did I... Why did I do that? I'm so dumb. It finally happened. I finally got frozen over a gigantic fucking pit. And just fell to my death. Okay, that needs to go in the highlight reel. Alright, well... Alright, that, that attack is gonna annoy the shit out of me. Two, three. I don't know why I'm dealing with the trash mobs, but I need these things to leave me the hell alone. No, stop it. Stop, please, and thank you. Okay, she breaks out after like two attacks. Oh, hey. I can still get a good true prophecy now I'm thinking about it. Uh, I'm not even gonna look at it, I'm just gonna put it on. Okay, well thankfully I am in, oh my gosh. I was just, I was getting chain frozen. Oh my god. <laughs> Every single time. Aramis needs to fucking chill. No pun intended. Actually, all pun intended. Fucking chill out. I'm over here being like Mr. Freeze or whatever the hell from Batman. <laughs> Alright, that was... Nope, leave me alone. Leave me alone, please. Thank you. No, stop it. Stop it. Thank you. I honestly think priming and detonating... By like priming and detonating with R2 and R1 is just the e the most efficient way of doing damage with that super.
I think that's exactly what it is. Oh. I guess we're not killing you. Are we sparing you? So instead of killing her, we froze her. Is that canonically what happened? I wonder if they're I wonder if they're gonna explain what the hell just happened. Plexermus is like frozen here? Like is she dead? I think that's the more important question. That's what we need to know. Is she dead or not? Also, what does this true prophecy have? Oh, okay. So that's opening shot rampage. Ah, uh, but the stats. It has TAC mag. But I mean, overall, it's still good, I would say. 11.54, that's 11.34. Got an 11.53. Oh, that's actually an upgrade. Uh, What am I putting in this? Yeah, I can put Resilience. Resilience mod. And... And can an ammo finder? Sure. Alright. Well, that's a nice set piece. But I still want to know what the hell is going to happen with Aramis. Oh, well. All right, I'm not going to... Well, I could, but I don't want to just, like, run all the way back. But I'm going to do it anyway. But, dude, that was a... I will say it was kind of fun. It was a kind of fun fight. I think just using stasis and, like, using it super is, like, what made it fun. Uh, all right, I can. Where am I? Gales Watch, Technocrats, Iron, Kells Rising, Risk Reborn, Approach. So, where is the glass white? There's one place. There's one place that I cannot find. Like, what is this? The first stage is just in perdition. I cannot find that place whatsoever. I don't know if I want to talk to them again. You see now. Darkness resides within, beckoning you, as it has many others across lifetimes. Timeline. Beyond ours lies another world, one pervaded by darkness, where guardians abandoned their light at the call of temptation. In that world, you were no exception. But here, in this world, 
Light and dark swell within you, side by side, giving you strength. Remember that when you step onto the ziggurat once more. You're there for one reason and one alone. To fully harness the darkness within you. It's time now. They're expecting you. So... That... That's really... Okay, so... She's saying that there's another timeline? Like, there's a completely separate timeline that... ...has only Dark Guardians? Or is this like an alternate un- or is this like an alternate universe? Or is it because Elsie is from that timeline? That first splinter. I keep thinking about the darkness possessing me again. Or worse, possessing you. What happens if you aren't the guardian I know anymore? That'll never happen. Well, here we are. I just want you to know, I'm here with you. Through light or dark. We're partners. Always. It goes is so supportive. Now we're back. Oh. <laughs> oh. Shaved. Okay. Oh, dude. <clears throat> the implication, dude. There's so many implications about this. The fact that, so like, select light subclasses, select darkness subclasses. It says subclasses, plural. It says subclasses, plural. That's implying that at the end of all this, we're going to have, like, each character is going to have six subclasses. And there's going to be six different elements. And so there's going to be three of light and three of darkness. Dude, that is... Oh, dude, I can't wait. I can't wait for that. I really can't wait for that. Toggle between light and darkness subclass, then inspect your stasis subclass. Okay, I didn't inspect my stasis subclass. Why the hell is it telling me to do this? Okay. Healing rift. Empowering rift, so... There's that. Strafe glide. Wait, do I only have two glides? What do I use from here? I use strafe glide. I strafe burst and balanced. Is that all? Yeah, I use them on everything. Yeah, I use strafe glide on everything. Okay. So that's fine. An umbral blast. Raise your stasis death against your foe. Send a blast of stasis forward to freeze your targets. Glacier grenade. A grenade that creates walls out of stasis shards to block damage and freeze targets. So this looks like a grenade. So this looks like one of the few grenades that's going to be on, like, all... But it's going to be, it's going to be split between different uh, subclasses. And I got different aspect sockets. Dude. The light showing there. And then when I'm using stasis subclass... So, oh, dude, the implications. You have taken control of the darkness within and sent Aramis to her end. 
It's time the truth presented itself to you. I mentioned before, another timeline. My own. There, Aramis lived, and the temptation of darkness thrived. It pervaded the minds of the good and preyed on their desires, bringing about a new dark age. I feared these events unavoidable, and though I still do, you've given me cause to hope again. Our fight is far from over. We must prevent that dark future, no matter what. Thanks to you, I stand no longer at a familiar end, only a promising new beginning. Okay. So, she's from that timeline. Okay. And now we get no time to explain. And we get the catalyst. Turn with Vuvuzela. Defeat combatants in the Braytech facility. Um, uh, I don't think. Wait, what's the? Is eleven fifty the soft cap? Wait, no. No, I don't think it's a soft cap. I think twelve sixty is a soft cap. Hold on, let's look at this. So it's three o'clock. Um. Okay. There, actually, no. Oh. So, let me. There's a whole bunch of shit I still gotta check. So, so if this is arc, that's solar, that's void, and this is stasis. <clears throat> Summon the void. Yeah. So this is like, so this would be like, so stasis would be like its own element. Like it would be a darkness element. So I'm guessing, I'm guessing if there were two more darkness elements, one would be like more of like a poison element, maybe, or like a corrosive element. Or any of these high, okay. The chess pieces.
Okay. <clears throat> Right, Zavala, help me out. Aramis is gone. I can't say I agree with the methods, but you did what had to be done. Europa is a treasure trove of golden age knowledge. That knowledge, good and bad, belongs to humanity and must remain out of the hands of our enemies. Mm -hmm. With their kill gone, the fallen will be scattered and disorganized. Frequent targeted strikes will keep them that way. I've made an arrangement with the Awoken. Temporary immunity for barracks while he helps us secure Europa. It doesn't sit right with me. After what happened to Cade. But there are greater threats on our doorstep now. All right. Reclaiming Europa. So this is like the post. Yeah, so the Beyond so that's the Beyond Light quest actually being done. And now we just have to post stuff. Which honestly should not take that long. Welcome back. A transaction to make, Guardian? That's fine. Get all the better out of here you can, Guardian. The stasis prototype. Uh okay. What's this? I'm sorry, what was that? That was a knee slide and a half. Dude. Ah. <laughs> oh, that that sucks. That's going to be a pain in the ass to deal with in Crucible. I know that for sure. Hey, Drifter. Putting stasis into a grenade launcher, huh? <laughs> Wish I'd thought of that. Listen, I think the Fallen have bitten off a little more than they can chew here. What do you say we take this thing off their hands? See if you can find intel on where they're keeping the prototype. In the meantime, I'm going to call in a favor from the shore. Oh, okay. See you on your own. Oof. Oh, boy. Okay, so still got to figure that out. Okay, so I don't know if there's some interesting stuff for the post game, or like the post. Beyond Light quest. <clears throat> okay, so that's it for the Beyond Light actual like story content. Not not the story, but like the main Beyond Light like story quest campaign. And Honestly, it's like more. It's there's it more Destiny. Like it's pretty much it's pretty much like what I expected from Destiny going forward. Also, why does it feel like all the load times are just like ten times faster now? Humanity's refuge does not lie in us alone. We must awaken darkness far and wide. Teach the masses to use it for good. First. We must awaken its power fully. There was one whose knowledge of the darkness exceeded even our own. 
my grandfather, Clovis Bray the First. Elizabeth, he said to me as I woke, born again as an exo. You are going to save the world. What a load of crap. <laughs> the old man didn't care about saving the world. He only cared about his precious legacy. Still, here's to hoping he was right. Clovis kept most of his secrets in his personal journal. And I know just where we can find it. So this is leading up into the raid, I guess. Uh, yeah. Nothing really in here, though. Okay, now, what about this? I want to do the hunt stuff. Like, I want to see... I want to see the crow. Can I do that, please? Like, can I please do that? I mourn the loss okay, so she's actually dead, friend. dead. But we didn't actually... I feel like we didn't actually kill her. It was just like... She died from, like, not being able to use the darkness. Like, the darkness took her. But ideas are stronger than death. I hear whispers of Elixni who wish to take the mantle that Aramis left behind. Yeah. There is still work to be done. Yes. Yes, there sure is, bitch. Sabotaging salvation. Okay, so when do we get to the hunt? Well, I think this is not starting anything on the tangle short. Okay, so it looks like we're just what was. Is that just telling me? Uh, I think that's telling me that there's people on my friends list that are in that location. I gotta go all the way over here. What is this game? <clears throat> That's not gonna do a lot for me. I'm still gonna I'm still gonna use Risk Runner. Are you fucking kidding me? Hell no. Oh, okay. That's fine. I was just over here, just having a nice little ride through Europa on my Sparrow. Just enjoying the scenery, really. And then... Destiny was like, no, you're not having that. You're not giving you this. But the skyscape looks amazing. That's, that's really nice. Dude, I'm really mad I played through goddamn near half of the story at capped frame rate because I was running on window full screen and I didn't even realize it. 
But that's neither here nor there. Honestly, I should have realized that when I was, like, switching between my monitors and nothing was happening. Maybe I... You know what? Maybe I did change it to windowed full screen, and I just completely forgot about switching it back. But I... I just can't think of why not when I did that and why I did it. But oh well. Oh wait, I can unlock the the shit now. Is that where this is gonna take me? So honestly, I have no clue. Oh, so there's a... I feel like... I feel like we're missing some environmental music. Like, the ambiance is, like, really nice and everything. But, like... I, I'd be down with some actual in-game music. I think this is the point where you just have music playing in the stream, but, you know... Copyright shit is kind of annoying to deal with, so... Why take that chance? No, no clue why I would do that. Okay, I'm tired of dealing with you. I'm tired of dealing with ads in general. Unfortunately, I can't use ad block in Destiny 2. All right, I can actually unlock this now. Do I, like, have that relic on me, like, on my person? No. No, I don't. Like, how does it keep... I wonder how it keeps track of, like, what I have on me. Was that the thing that I needed for that quest? Was that the last one? No, that's not the... That is not the chest that I was looking for. Please go. Thank you. I'm really interested to try more stuff out in like the sandbox. Energized ether. Uh oh. I guess I'm unintentionally getting quest steps done. Speaking of which, I'm finally back here. Was it really necessary for me to go through all of that just to get to this quest marker? Like really, that felt that felt so unnecessary. working out really well. Also, I just realized this has opening shot and rampage, which is like all of the perks that are on DFA. But just, I can use them both at the same time instead of one or the other. I don't think that's it. You will encounter many locks here. Verix offers you his keys. 
They are old. The teeth must fit this new lock. Do you really think your old access codes will work? Maybe there's another way. Oh. There is no other way. All right. Just between you and me, I'm really tired of hacking security systems. Wow. That makes two of us, because I don't want to fucking unlock shit. Like, low key. Oh. This is just loading. This is loading screen simulator. As long as it didn't send me off the map, I was gonna... Okay, I can't shoot. What happens if I freeze the harpies midair? Do they fall? No, but they die. I guess they're just weak enough. Sir? Oh, no. That's the... That's the area around me. <clears throat> That's just how they... Oh, for fuck's sake. My key or failure. I still don't see why this would work. But if I have to hack this thing, I will. No. Winter's Wrath. That's what the super is called. I feel like I haven't actually been paying attention to, like, the super thing. Because I feel like it would have told me when I was using it all the other times that I had access to stasis. Honestly, you know what I'm thinking? You know what I just realized? In terms of the oh no. Okay, thank goodness. This is why this is why I'm using Risk Runner. But like in terms of how and compare okay, so compared to how we got like in original Destiny 2, like vanilla Destiny 2. Get a more oh god. So like in vanilla Destiny 2, we start off with our super, we lose it, and then within I wanna say Like I wanna say like within like 30 minutes to an hour we get our super back. Uh Okay, that works. Like with it, like thirty minutes to an hour. Like I got my super, get our super back. We've been through a lot lately. I'd say we're learning to do things our own way. Does he say? Does he say that for literally every single subclass? Like, what happens when an actual titan does it? 
Or does it not matter? He's just gonna say that for everybody. Because I guess that would make sense. Or maybe the ghost would respond. Maybe the ghost would respond a different way. has horns on him but it's okay because you're dead now what was I what was I even talking about oh yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. so destiny one we get our like we die we get our or not we, we don't die but we start the game with our supers we lose them and then like half an hour later like literally the first mission that we do after like losing our light we get our super back and I think this way, like, and then even with Forsaken, we got like our new like subclass changes to them. Like we we had access to the first, like we got access to the first one, but when we act, when we were able to use our supers, or when we like. It was staggered between getting like all three, which is the same way for like vanilla Destiny 2. But this was a lot different. Like, we didn't get stasis until the end of the, the campaign. But like, throughout the campaign, we got like little like snippets of like, we got like little sections of being able to use stasis. Uh, gotta go up there. We got little sections of like how of being able to use stasis. And I actually like I like how they did it that way. <clears throat> because I feel like how we got stasis is the way that we should have gotten like our light back in Destiny 2. Or in vanilla Destiny 2. Like I think that way. Are you dead? Okay. So I think, so like, this is kind of like a way of them to like, correct how they implemented the new, like, subclass, or like the new element. And then like, once it got to the point where we actually needed it, like imagine if, so like, let's say in Vanilla Destiny 1, in Vanilla Destiny, not Vanilla Destiny 1, in like Vanilla Destiny 2, instead of having our light through the entire time, like it probably would have sucked to not like have our light fully. But like, imagine if we only had like part of our light and we couldn't like really use our supers and anything like that. Like we could maybe use like our abilities and then like the ability recharges like completely nerfed and then once we like completed the game and then certain sections of it we had the ability to like in, in certain sections we have the ability to use like our supers at like cracked out like the times when we got access to our supers and we were just like supercharged the entire time like the same way that is set up for stasis like, I feel like that would have been a lot more, that would have been a lot more memorable than, yeah, I, I think that would be a, would have been a lot more memorable, but I'm rambling, but that's something, that's something that I think in, th wow. like, considering how the up. campaign has, like, paced and out, I kind of like, I, I really appreciated that. Factory Walker. I don't think I can freeze this.
Yeah, I don't think freezing is an option for this thing. I'm just gonna have to run around the arena. Oh, okay. That's not what I was expecting. And also, what happened to my rocket? Well, that's fine. It wouldn't, again, it wouldn't be Destiny if we didn't fight a gigantic boss version of all the enemies, or like, other enemies that we fought in the game. Oh, it just straight, this thing straight up dodged me. Are you, oh my God. Also, this thing is the worst Minotaur ever. But this is like OG Minotaur because there's no crit spot on it. Like we have to damage it to open a crit spot and I'm not looking forward to that. Oh, but I got rockets, so it's fine. I just need you to not dodge. Thank you. Oh, Jesus Christ. Hey, buddy. Okay, now I'm kind of just like, this thing can't even hit me. I'm trying to, I'm trying to have it hit me so I can use Risk Runner. It just decided it does not want to hit me. All right, now I just kind of need to get my health back because it's a problem. Jesus Christ, this thing is weak. Or it's like half health. So I find it funny how it has a health bar and there's also a health bar for it at the bottom of the screen. I guess I needed both, but... Okay. Oh, it's actually slowed. It's also stuck in the air. Uh, okay, I don't want to get hit by that. Uh, can I just keep doing this? Uh, no, that's not, that's not a good idea. I'm gonna die that way. I kinda need rockets. Oh, speed, thank goodness. I don't think rockets can do crit damage. Oh, and... <sighs> We're not done with the stupid death compilation. Apparently not. Do I have anything other than a rocket that I can use? No, I don't. God damn it. Oh, shit. Okay. So let's... Wow. Get through this. I really built this place up. And another computer terminal. You must not blow it up. You will disrupt too much. Fine, fine. Let me have a look. All right. Well, I don't have to deal with the... I don't have to deal with the walker, at least. There we go. Alright, so I'm just not going to use rockets while I'm moving. Because otherwise I'm just going to be dead. 
Also, I am running out of ammo for my risk runner. And I need you to not slam. That'd be great. Okay. I think we got it. I think we got it. Shit, shit, shit. This feels like consistent damage. Alright, as long as... Alright, I'm gonna keep moving. Oh, kinetic ammo. Thank you. <clears throat> I'm not saying that they made... Precision damage a lot better, but that's exactly what it feels like or like airborne precision damage Maybe I'm just maybe it's just like RNG and I'm getting hell of a sleep placebo I'm gonna need you to come down Actually, I'm just gonna use my super here It's not dead yet. And now it's dead. Thank goodness. Factory's powering down. Well done, Guardian. This will go a long way in gaining us a foothold on Europa. But we should hit them again as soon as possible. Take advantage of the Vex presence here. Just give the word, Commander. We'll be ready. Oh, sweet. We're done. Sweet. All right, what's left? Step three of three. So now here's the more important question. When the hell do we get the seasonal content? Is it gonna be like staggered to like next week? Cause I think they did that for Shadow Keep. We must talk. Okay. All right. Well, that's not even that high of an upgrade. Okay. That seems about right. Do I have that full armor set now? Uh, I still don't have the helmet. I bought the thing for the class item. <clears throat> Sabotage. Preview. Defeat combatants on Europa. Uh, okay, so we're doing this again.
complete bounties. These are dailies. Okay. Do not so, underestimate a scribe. I think that's. You have news, yes. So I think this is a good place to sort of conclude the. Oh gosh, this is a good place to conclude the playthrough. So my impressions. I think I've talked about this like earlier, but I will say one of the things I I'll, I'll just talk about what I liked and what I didn't like. So overall, I enjoyed the I enjoyed the campaign because I think it had I think the characters were interesting. I think the story, like the whole plot of Aramis and the Fallen using the darkness and stasis to try and so like bring them back to greatness. <laughs> the making the following great again, or make the lakes me great again. Uh, I thought that was interesting. Aramis is kind of like, I feel like I feel like Aramis is like always kind of like crazy, but then like as we pretty much just destroyed all of the fallen, like all of her like followers, she just went and got even crazier. So. I don't know why I'm like trying to judge like character progression in like a six hour thing. It's not much you can really do with that, but it is interesting seeing like the how everything's like working out with us starting to use darkness and the ghost starting to question like what might happen to us. I'm really interested in. Okay, I'm, I'll get to that in a sec. But I like that. The other thing I liked the environment europa fucking amazing environment i really like i'm super biased because i like snow but i really i like let's just let, let's just go out let's just go out just like look at don't want to look like just look at this landscape like look to well this is this is a little bit this, this might not be the best uh might not be the best description or like the best representation of what I like about the environment, but like I don't know. I am a sucker for I'm a sucker for snow. And I guess ever since we saw Europa like in concept art, like I kinda just wanted to experience this like area. So I'm happy about that. Um the subclass, the stasis subclass, and like what we end up having to do to get it, it was a little bit, it did feel a little bit drawn out, but like if I'm doing this on another character, I'm gonna be higher a light. I'm just gonna be shredding through everything, so it's gonna take me like a third of the time that I spent trying to get everything in here. But the times that we got to use the subclass and then leading up to actually getting the subclass were hype as shit. And actually using, I can't say what it's going to be like for the, like the Titan and the Hunter subclass, but the Warlock subclass being like having to freeze enemies and then like doing like one giant attack, or, like that explosion attack to like do more damage. Like that, that sort of loop was so addicting to try and like, especially like with dealing with with larger enemies. I'm starting to ramble, but I really like I really enjoyed using stasis. Um and I'm going to enjoy using it a little a lot more uh going forward. And the last thing that kind of brings up to me is the idea of there being like two more additional like darkness based uh elements and subclasses. And just seeing how, like, what that's going to do, like, to the weapon ecosystem. Like, are we going to get more weapons that have, like, different, like, elements to them? Like, because it does say, like, I will show you, like, in the, in the title, it says, like, select light subclasses. And then when you do this, it says select darkness subclasses. So that, it, that straight up implies that there's going to be more than just one subclass for 
like darkness based things which are probably going to come in like the next big expansions that's my best guess um i'm looking forward to that overall i still think like i the only issue that i kind of had was like the pacing of like the in-between stuff which is like this is stuff they have done that Bungie has done like a lot of times in their expansions or even in their main game where it's like there's a level cap that you or not like a, a level recommendation that you can, need to get to and you don't need to get to it but if you're not at that level it's going to be really fucking annoying dealing with everything and I felt that it wasn't until I put on Risk Runner. Also, by the way, pro tip: just use Risk Runner. Like, if you've made it through this entire thing and you're like thinking about playing uh, Beyond Light, and you have Destiny, you probably already have Risk Runner. Uh, just, just use it, please. Like, you'll save yourself a lot of headache <laughs> going through the game. So that's. That's that. And then, yeah, just like some of the missions where it's just like you have to kill enemies and then they have a chance of dropping the thing that you need to progress the story. It's like that part was really, that part was starting to wear me down, honestly. Like not even the part where it was like I had to kill 35 Fallen without dying. Like that part wasn't too bad because like at least there was a consistent... Uh, progression there but and in even the part where you had to kill the 10 vex and there was you were guaranteed to get a drop from a minotaur like that was helpful even though i think i've only killed one minotaur but like the drops were really good i don't i don't know why they use the the wave like random drops to progress a click a story based quest like for like a side quest for like a weapon or an exotic or anything like that like I can understand that because it's not that it's not as important for me as like just try to get through the main story like my focus when I was playing this was to just try and get through the main story but I felt like I had to do other stuff just to level up so that it wasn't a pain in the ass the entire time so that was one of the gripes that I've had with this and I think that's something that's been consistent with Destiny expansions so but other than that did I enjoy my time absolutely um do I think do I think the Beyond Light well I, I think I think if you're somebody that wants to keep playing like Destiny 2 um past just like playing this story then i definitely think this was worth it um and since oh yeah because i keep forget i keep forgetting destiny 2 is free now so like you just buy you just buy this expansion and just have this story um it's a pretty i i, I like the story and i like the environment so i think it was worth it for me it was definitely worth it for me um i just happened to buy the expansion pass with the uh, season so I have the seasonal content because I know I'm gonna play that so if you just want to experience the story is it worth the 40 bucks um if you enjoy like if you enjoyed this gameplay then I would definitely give this a I would definitely pick this up and give it a try for sure but I enjoy I enjoyed this so I'm kind of glad I played this and uh yeah that's about it i'm kind of sad because i don't think i'm going to be able to do the raid because i'm just not gonna have enough time to get the stuff for that but overall i just enjoyed i just enjoyed playing this i'm wondering um i'm i'm just gonna be wondering what else is gonna be what they're gonna have uh like post game wise Cause that's the only other thing that I'm like concerned about, but I, it was fun. I enjoyed it and uh, yeah, that's about it. So I'm gonna, and I'm gonna cut this right here. So the YouTube video will end right about now. 
Um, if you watch this entire playthrough, I just want to say thank you. I appreciate it. And hope you stick around for more content.